गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर बलविंदर सिंह आई एम वर्किंग इन श्री बाबा मस्तनाथ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल साइंसिस एंड रिसर्च बाबा मस्तनाथ यूनिवर्सिटी असल बोहर रोहतक हरियाणा टुडे आई विल गिव माई प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन एंटी मलेरियल ड्रग्स फार्माकोलॉजी एंटी मलेरियल ड्रग्स आर यूज टू ट्रीट मलेरिया मलेरिया इज कॉज बाई फोर स्पीशीज ऑफ प्रोडोजुआ प्लाज्मोडियम द फोर स्पीशीज आर प्लाज्मोडियम फालसीपेर प्लाज्मोडियम वीवेक्स प्लाज्मोडियम ओवेल प्लाज्मोडियम मलेरिया कमिंग टू द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ मलेरियल पैरासाइट ना द इन्फेक्टेड फीमेल एनोफ्लीज मॉस्किटो बाइट्स अ पर्सन एंड इंजेक्ट्स पोरोजाइट्स ऑफ मलेरियल पैरासाइट इन टू द ह्यूमन ब्लड ना दिस पोरोजाइट्स देन रीचेज लीवर सेल्स और हिपेटोसाइट्स Now their multiplication of sporozoites took place, and mirozoites are released from ruptured sporozoites. Mirozoites enters RBCs and matures there. RBCs rupture and mirozoites are released. This causes shivering and fever. Some sporozoites go in dormant phase, that is the hypnozoite stage in liver cells. They later on cause relapse. Mirozoites differentiate into gametocytes. Gametocytes are sucked by mosquitoes. In female anopheles mosquito guts, these uh, gametes are fertilized, and sporozoites reach in mosquito saliva. This is again injected to new person, and cycle of malarial parasite keeps on going. Now coming to the classification of anti uh, anti malarial drugs. एंटी मलेरियल ड्रग्स आर क्लासीफाइड इन टू फॉलोइंग कैटेगरीज फोर अमीनोक्यूनोलॉन्स क्लोरोक्वीन एमोडाक्वीन पाइप्राक्वीन एट अमीनोक्यूनोलॉन्स प्रेमाक्वीन टेफनोक्वीन एंटीबायोटिक्स लाइक डॉक्सीसाइक्लिन क्लिंडामाइसिन अमीनो एलगोल्स हेलोफेंट्रीन ड्यूमीफेंट्रीन बाई गुएनिड प्रोगुएनिल सिंकोना एल्कोलाइट्स कुनिन कुनिडीन नेक्स्ट कैटेगरी इज डाई अमीनो पायरिमिडीन ड्रग इज pyrimethamine then we have the quinolin methanol group where the drug is mefloquine then next is naphthoquinone drug is atovaquinone next is naphthyridine drug is pyronaridine then we have the sesquiterpene lactones drug is artesunate artemether artether dihydro artemisinin last category is sulfonamides or sulfones and drugs are sulfadoxin sulfamethopyrazin dapsone coming to the first category of anti malarial drugs the drugs are chloroquine amodiaquine quinine mefloquine lumifentrine pyronaridine the mechanism of action is these drugs are fast acting blood schizontocytes these drugs collect in the acidic food vacuole of intra erythrocytic trophozoites and thereby stop degradation of hemoglobin these drugs are taken orally they are widely distributed all over the body and they metabolized in liver and excreted in urine or bile adverse effects are nausea vomiting and anorexia now uh, out of uh, these uh, uh, class of drugs the last two drugs are given in uh, fixed dose combinations like Uh, lumifentrine is given with artemether and pyronaridine is given with artesunate in fixed dose combinations next category is anti malarial drugs uh, category is uh, primaquine and tefnoquine these drugs are hypnozoicidal uh, and gametocytocidal they interfere in the electron transport in the mitochondria of parasite during respiration process Tefnoquine is a single dose anti relapse drug for PYX. It is very effective uh, against hypnozoids. Pharmacokinetics part uh, these drugs are taken orally. They are widely distributed all over the body, metabolized in liver and excreted in urine. They cause abdominal pain and hemolysis are certain uh, adverse effects of these drugs. Next category of is the antibiotics like doxycycline, clindamycin. they are the slow acting and weak erythrocytic schizontocidal action against all species of plasmodium they are used in combination with quinine they are taken orally widely distributed all over the body metabolized in liver and excreted mainly in urine adverse effect is so nausea 
Then we have the biguanate drug is proguanil. Proguanil is a slow acting erythrocytic schizoanticidal action against plasmodium falciparum and P. vivax. It also inhibits pre erythrocytic stage of P. falciparum. The metabolite of proguanil inhibits plasmodial DHF RAs or and thymidylate synthase enzyme. Proguanil is taken orally, widely distributed all over the body, metabolized in liver and excreted in urine. Adverse effects are mild abdominal pain and vomiting. Next category of drug is diaminopyrimidine that is pyrimethamine in combination with sulfonamides and sulfone that is the sulfadoxin, sulfamethopyrazine and dapsone. Now the uh, mechanism of action, the, uh, these drugs, they directly inhibit plasmodial DHFRAs thymidylate synthase enzyme. Slowly stops shizogony uh, of malarial parasite in blood. It is also uh, slow acting erythrocytic schizontocidal action against plasmodium falciparum but does not inhibit pre-erythrocyte stage of P. falciparum or exo-erythrocytic phase of P. vivax. These drugs are taken orally, widely distributed all over the body, metabolized in liver and excreted in urine. Adverse effects are nausea and rashes. Now the uh, pyrimethamine is uh, used in combination with sulfadoxin or sulfamethopyrazine as a single dose prophylactic dose therapy. Next drug is uh, atovacuone. Atovacuone is a fast acting erythrocytic schizonticide as well as pre erythrocyte stage of P. falciparum and other malarial parasite in blood. It acts on plasmodial mitochondrial membranes and interferes with ATP production. Regarding pharmacokinetics, drug is taken orally, adverse effect is diarrhea, vomiting and rashes. Then we have the sesquiterpene lactones like artisanate, artimether, artiether, dihydro, artemisinin. They are the artemisinin derivatives derived from plant artemisia annua. Mechanism of action, uh, these drugs are powerful schizontocidal action. They kill early stages of malarial gametes. The endoperoxide bridge of drug combines with heme in parasite. It then releases highly reactive free radical species that combines with membrane proteins and cause lipid peroxidation and in turn damage endoplasmic reticulum and death of the parasite. These drugs are taken orally or parenterally, uh, parenterally like intramuscularly or intravenously. That these drugs are metabolized in liver and adverse effects are nausea, vomiting or abdominal pain. So that's all about the drugs that are uh, classification of drug and various drugs. Now uh, regarding the uh, you can say uh, for the treatment of anti uh, for treatment of malaria the anti malarial drugs uh, normally they are not used alone they are uh, most of them they are used in combination and uh, um, uh, there is one uh, you can say uh, dosage regime is there which is uh, abbreviated as ACT. That is the artemisinin based combination therapy where the drugs under the uh, uh, class of drug of uh, artemisinin group uh, any one drug is there that drug is combined with um, one or uh, other drug of the uh, other classes of anti-malarial drugs. So the, any, any one combination of the following com drug combinations can be used under the ACT uh, dosage schedule. Uh, one combination is artemether plus lumifentrine or uh, artisunate can be combined with mefloquine or artisunate can be combined with amodiaquine or artisunate can be combined with sulfadoxin and pyrimethamine or uh, dihydro artemisinin can be combined with piperaquine or artirolane plus piperaquine can be given any one of these combination can be given and this is the most widely used combination therapy that is the act that is there Thank you very much for listening uh, patiently to me and uh, that's all about the anti-malarial drugs pharmacology uh, and uh, I am very thankful to you uh, for listening patiently. My mobile number is there and email ID is also given here. In case you require any clarification, you feel free to contact me. For uh, I am waiting for your valuable suggestion. Thank you very much. Good day.